FOM contacts are profiles of individuals who participate in the FOM update process, either as the POC or data provider for the organization, or as an action officer or administrator for the enterprise. Similar to the Accounts tab, if you want to view an individual's contact page, you can either click on the contact's name in the table of contacts, or search the contact by name using the global system. To create a new contact, select the New button at the far right of the screen. Fill out the fields with the new contact's information, including first name, last name, associated account. This is where you would choose the organization that the contact is associated with email address, phone number, and the contact's address information. Once the contact form has been populated, select the Save button at the bottom of the screen, and you will then be taken to the contact summary page. At this point, we are going to move on to the Call Center tab. We will come back to the FOM Data Request tab in just a bit, and we've already covered the Authority and Business Reference Model tabs. We did briefly review creating a cost center organization association, but we did not go over the cost center tab. A cost center is defined in the VA Financial Policy Volume 8, Chapter 1 as a sub-organization where costs are incurred. A cost center is represented by a four- to six-digit code established by VA as part of an overall accounting classification that identifies the organizational element or function associated with a financial transaction. To view all of the cost centers currently entered in the FOM app, select from the drop-down menu to view all. If you want to view an individual cost center's page, you can either click on the appropriate cost center hyperlink, or you can search for the cost center using the global search field. Let's look at cost center 12345 for the Office of FOM Training. This cost center was created just for training purposes. On the cost center's page, you'll be able to review the information associated with the cost center to include the associated organization, fiscal year, who created the cost center, a description of the cost center, whether or not the cost center is, a, is for payroll purposes, the owner of the cost center, and who last modified the cost center. You can also edit and delete the cost center from this screen. If your organization's cost centers aren't entered into the Salesforce application, you will need to create them. Navigate back to the cost center main screen and select New. A new cost center creation screen will populate and you will need to enter the required data. We are going to create cost center 23456 and associate it with the Office of FOM Training. We will select FY 2017. Enter a description and check the payroll checkbox. We will then select Save. To view the cost center and organization association we just created, we will search for the Office of FOM Training in the global search field. Select the organization. Navigate to the Related tab. And view our newly created cost center and association under the cost center tab. Let's move on to the Reports and Dashboards tab. We will start with the Reports tab. To navigate to the FOM Reports, click on the Shared With Me link on the left-hand side of the Reports screen and select the VA FOM Reports folder. Several FOM-related reports will populate. Let's look at the FOM Offices by Levels report. Here, you will be able to view the breakdown of the FOM organizations by level. For instance, on this report, there are 27 Level 1 organizations and 23 Level 2. You can also click on the bars within the graph to view a list of the organizations contained within that bar. You can continue to explore the other reports within this tab at a later time. But for now, let's move on to the Dashboards tab. To access the FOM dashboard, we will need to click on the Shared With Me link on the left-hand side of the screen 
and navigate to the VA FOM dashboard folder. You will need to select the FOM dashboard LE link and the FOM dashboard will populate. This might take a moment or two. The FOM dashboard currently consists of the FOM offices by level chart, which is a graphical depiction of the FOM organizations organized by level. The FOM data collection request by status chart. This graph displays the total number of FOM data requests that have been issued and their current status. The FOM data collection request by age. This graph shows how many days a FOM data collection request has been outstanding. Remember that all of these charts are interactive. So if we were to click on the bar that represents 15 days, we will be able to see the three data collection requests that were issued 15 days ago. The remainder of the FOM dashboard is made up of the FOM data quality chart that display how many organizations are missing mail codes, how many are missing points of contact, how many don't have levels assigned, and how many organizations that are missing parent account association. Before we leave this page, it is important to note that the dashboard does not refresh on its own. You will see the date of the last refresh displayed under the FOM dashboard LE title, and if the dashboard data is out of date, you will need to select the refresh button located on the top right-hand side of the dashboard screen.